okay the color wheels progressing let's get along the machine and see what happens so we can see here the color wheel before the color has been added and um, kind of interesting you see an association with the main shutter that's now blanking out the picture first time for the frame and it's now blanking out the picture for the second time you can see the color wheel support section is just following that shutter blade so he's not going to cut off any more of the light off picture than the actual shutter blade itself and again here you can see the color wheel is now just clearing the lens at about the same time that the main shutter clears the lens so those supports for the color wheel are about as wide as they can be without causing further cutout and in fact that's shifting a little but it will synchronize out there yeah so that's about right these can always be trimmed back slightly if necessary but I think they're fine and um, now I need to black this up let's black the other side and put the colour filter on uh, after I've worked out how we're going to fix this and the general idea is that we'll fit onto a little pulley that will act not as a pulley but just as a centre for that to be fixed to because it mustn't slip on that shaft so um, after that we can put the colour filters in red and green and uh, take it from there So each frame with a two-bladed shutter is shown twice. The first blade covers up the section where the film is actually being pulled through and the second blade helps to reduce the flicker by increasing the frequency. So for every two blades that go through there's one frame being projected. So let's have a look on the screen when we put the projector lamp on and see what the result is without any film in and um, we'll take it from there we know it's not going to work uh, to give us a, a white light because the color fusion just isn't going to happen while we're still running only around 16 17 frames a second so we have to increase the speed of this piece but let's just see what happens anyway Well, we're clearly not yet getting colour fusion. We're not going fast enough, even at the full speed. 
that's what was expected. We're only running about 16 frames a second, so that's half the speed we need to get to. So what I'm proposing to do is replace this pulley, the main drive pulley, with this much smaller one. And that will mean that the whole mechanism should run at around twice the speed. And we'll see what happens. This has a quarter inch spindle, so it should go straight onto there. And then I just have to shorten the leather belt. And in the next episode, we'll see what speed we're able to get doing that. Well, that pulley's now on there. And now I have to um, attach that magnet to it and adjust the reader because it doesn't reach at the moment. So um, I have to refit it into that hole so that the reader will be opposite the magnet. Uh, and then as I said, just tighten up this belt, shorten the belt and we'll see what speed we get. Mm. It'll be interesting.